we are going to be looking at uh, doing potential energy calculations for electric charge. The trick here is that we want to be able to handle the scientific notation. The actual equation uh, for the change in potential energy with distance from a point charge is relatively easy to handle. It's K Q1 times Q2 over R. Okay, we're told that K is 9 E9. That means 9 times 10 to the exponent 9. So let's start out K, 9, and in this calculator you use the EXP button, but sometimes it's the Enter Exponent button. 9 E9 times Q1, which is 8 microcoulombs, and so that is 8 E negative 6 because that's a decimal zero 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 eight uh, and negative seven microcoulombs so times negative seven e negative six uh, are brought from a large distance and so this is going to be a potential energy change the field is variable but we have an equation that handles that now we are going to divide by the separation that they end up being, which is 0.7 meters, and so that one we don't have to worry about. Okay, so let's see what this turns out to be. Uh, this turns out to be a nice negative 0.72 joules. And so if we fill in 0.72 and hit check, uh, that is wrong, and that's because it wasn't negative. In other words, negative work is involved. Uh, and you would actually uh, you would actually gain energy from this uh, change. Okay, so there we go. Negative 0.72 joules because these would be attracted. You'll have to ignore the fact that they're positive and positive. The big trick here is handling the scientific notation. This calculator uses the EXP button. Some of them have an EE button. Do not I repeat, do not use any X to the Y key when you're doing these. Always use the scientific notation button.